Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne, and it's Monday, we're going to start the week with pack 3 of Agora Models, Bismarck, the legendary battleship. Now before we get down to it, I'm going to tell you now, there's a couple of warnings in this, which I'm going to repeat in a second. And also, when you get these packs through for the Bismarck, you're going to notice there's a hell of a lot to do. More so than you've done probably in any previous build before. So take your time. You don't have to do it all at one time that you're going to see in this video here, which is pretty much why this video is almost an hour long. But once you see what you get at the end of it, which is actually just sitting here, you will uh, understand where your time's going because the detail is unsurpassed. But if you want to get hold of this yourself, I'll put the link down here for the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one. Also, they've just had the Zero Fighter released. And again, that's at the same web address. And if you want to see some of the plethora of other things they've got, you've got the Super Snake, which is uh, on their site as well, the Cobra, and behind me here, as you can see here, the Terminator. But uh, check that out all over at aguramodels.com. Now, the warning. I said I was going to give you a warning, didn't I? When you do this build, whatever you do, do not try and test the lights or the electrics, as in the motors, until you're told to do so. You're going to see I've put a great big warning sign looking just like this up on the screen when we are actually playing with LEDs. The reason being is the control board that they give you at the start is only for testing motors. If you try and plug that into one of the LEDs, you're going to blow them. So I'm just going to give you that warning now. And then when it does tell us later on in the build, you can test them to your heart's content. But we're going to enjoy this one. I really do hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed building this one. Let's get cracking. Okay, to start with, this is issue 21, looking just like this. As you can see, we've got lots of sprues. And make no mistake, there is lots of sprues on this build. They provide the detail for the ship, which is absolutely brilliant. But lots of sprues mean you are going to need the right tool to get them off. This is a sprue cutter. They are in my Amazon store, which is in the video description. But this is going to be invaluable for the rest of the build. And the first thing we need is the substructure deck looking just like this. Now, when it comes to you, it actually comes already on the part just like that there. So you shouldn't really have to fit that in. What you will have to do is screw it in from the bottom. Now, they are held in with four BP screws. So I'll put them in now. There's the first one. There's the second. There's the third. And then finally, we've just got one more left there. So now we're going to start putting the details on. And the first two details of these breakwaters, as you can see, they've sort of got like bladed lugs at the bottom there. They're going to match what you just see into the deck here. So they're going to go on just like this on that side and exactly the same on the other side. But we need to glue these in. So what I do, I just put some glue into my uh, case that these come in. And all I'm going to do is just apply some glue just to the channels here not a lot and also here on this side that will be enough to keep these in place so that's one in that side do the same on the other side here now if you remember from the last pack that we did you really don't need to go heavy on the glue on this build so there's the second one in and there you go, that's the breakwaters in. <laughs> it looks like a sad face really, doesn't it? <laughs> now we've got a couple of skylights on here. They're gonna be going into the sections that you can see here and here on the other side. So we'll get these off the sprue. If you've never used sprue cutters before, just put the flat end of it against the detail as tight as you can and then cut. If you've done it cleanly and they're sharp, you shouldn't have anything to file off or sand. So that's one and two. Drop some glue just into these points here. One there, one there, and we'll drop one of these in, just like that. And we do the same just on the other side here. One, 
and two. There you go. The next thing we've got are the barrel containers here. So we need to cut these four off the sprue. So now these are gonna be going on the holes that we can just see in the side there. And they're also gonna be at an angle in these holes here and here. So let's get these in. So they're actually held in by the two lugs that we can see there. And we wanna make sure the detail part of this is facing forward. There is actually a plane side. The plane side's gonna be facing towards the stern of the ship. So here's the first one going in, just like that. Do the same on the other side here. And that's that one in. And then we've just got the ones that are at an angle just on the forward side of the deck here. And lastly, just the ones on this side here. And there you go. Quite impactful already, isn't it? So now we need this big sprue here, which has got a lot of details in, which are gonna go on the side of this substructure deck here. So the first one I'm gonna cut off is number one. Now they are all labeled on this sprue, so it should be easy to identify what each part is. Number one is gonna go on the starboard side here, just at this point here. So put some glue in there. And it's shaped like a backwards E without the middle lining. And it goes on this way, just like that. We get part two off. Part two looks just like that. This one's gonna be going just behind that section there next to the portholes that you can see there. So it's gonna go in that notch just there. The long end of this is gonna be facing towards the top. When we do put these in, you wanna make sure they're in straight. So that should look just like that. And then the last one, number three, is just gonna be on this point at the front where it bends round. It's the very front notch that you can see there, just like that. Now we've got some more rain guards here which are labeled number four. I'm gonna cut two of these off now these are gonna go just behind the one that we just put in there. So a bit of glue in there. And I'll put that one in. And the next one, let's go right next to it. Just that point there, just like that. So we've got those two in there. And then the last one, which is labeled number four, let's get this off the sprue, is going just behind this section here in the final notch that you can see just there. I've managed to do that with my uh, fingers and no tweezers, but there you go. That's all the details on that side. So now that side's complete, we're gonna be working on this side. So the next one we're gonna cut off is number five. Number five is gonna go into this notch that we could just see at the back there. And it's gonna go on this way. Just hold that in for a second. And there we go. Then we're gonna need part six, which I'll just cut off here. This part actually just goes outwards from the deck here. So we're gonna put it into this hole just here, just like that, and push this into place. Again, making sure that it is straight in there. Next one, part seven. There's actually quite a few of these parts, so uh, Number seven is going to go right on the end here. So I'll put some glue just into that channel there. Should fit in nice and smooth, just like that. Then we're skipping some to go to number nine. Number nine is going into the notch just behind it. Just like that. And then lastly, we've got three more details left on this sprue. I'm going to get all of those off because they all go in a line from each other. And they're pretty much in those three notches that we can see just there. So I'll put some glue in there. One, two, and three at the back there. And finally, 
that's the third. So there's the details on both sides of that substructure deck completed. So we've got the final details to put on the side here. So we're going to start off with number one on this sprue. As you can see, they are all numbered. So the first detail looks like a door. And it's just going to go into this slot that we can see just under the details we put in. So I'll put some glue just in there. Now it is directional. So there is a little mark on that door. You want to make sure that points upwards. So it looks just like that. We're actually going to put a door next to it now, which is number two. And once again, door two does have a little porthole on it. So you want to make sure that the porthole is pointing upwards as well. So I'll drop some glue in there. Make sure the door's in the right way. And then push that home into that section like that. Number three is this square part here. So I'll get this one off as well. And that's just going into the two holes that we can see next to this detail here. And you want to make sure the detail, if I actually put it in, I'll, I'll show you the correct way to orientate that. It should look just like that. So that it's got a small sort of cap section on top. Then we want number five, which is another door. This is going on the other side. And it's just going to go into these two holes here. And again, make sure you put it in the right way so the handle of this door is pointing towards this section of the deck, like that. We've got another door to put in, which is detail four. So once again, let's drop some glue into the holes where this is going to go. Pretty easy to see where some of these go because you've actually got uh, an indent in the plastic. Push that home. So it's flat in there. Like that. And then the last detail we've got, detail six. Quite a large section this is. Just get this off the sprue here. And that's going to go into this section between these two points here. So we need to drop some glue in this hole here and the hole next to it there and i can just put that in like that and there we go that's that detail in as well so with this side and this side complete and the top looking like that that's all there is to do in this stage now stage 22 looks just like this we've got a large piece of deck we've got two tiny babettes and we've got some screws here and all we're going to do first is put the babettes into these points here, which are eventually going to hold uh, the 15 centimeter guns. So what we do is we just line up the lugs here with what we see inside, work our way round just to get every single one in, just clip it down into place, almost all in. And there we go. They do take a little bit of force, but you should get them in and they should look like that from that side. We do the same on the other side here. One, two, it's good if you do it probably a, one at a time, push it in and down, three and four. And there we go, that's both of those babettes in. Then we wanna take the deck piece that we completed in issue 19, because we're actually gonna mix both of these together. And as you can see, we've got some lugs here and here to join together. It's gonna to extend that out quite nicely turning it over we're going to be putting four screws into here and they are cp screws that's the first one in three more that's the second that's the third and then finally just this one here and that's the fourth and there you go should look just like that and that is all there is to do in that stage. Now stage 23 is invaluable because we are putting the whole section in and to the start of the build and the end of the build, it's providing us with this tiny screwdriver, which we're gonna to need to actually get the whole plates in. So I'm gonna bring over what we worked on previously, looking just like that. I'll line this up because we're actually gonna be putting the whole piece in this one here. This is what that looks like. It's 
going on the port side, so it's actually just going to fit in just like that. Now we're going to be securing this in with two times four mil screws. And if you're ever unsure what screws are going into the side, it's always the silver ones. So I'll get these open. Just like that, and just get it as tight as you can. Put the second one in. And then what you will notice is we've got a tiny, tiny, tiny gap just between the plates here. We're going to need to push them together. And for that, we've got an adapter to put on there. This is what the adapter looks like. And it has got a number at the bottom. Now, when we put this on, we want to make sure we put it on the right way. So when you put it on, it should fit flush to the bodywork. If you try and put that on upside down, it's just not going to fit very well at all. So make sure you put it on the right way. Then we're going to be putting some more 2.4 mil screws in. But as you can see, it's going to be pretty hard to get a screwdriver in here. That's the reason they've gave you this tiny one here. So what I'll do, got this loaded up on the tiny one here. And we can just put that in like that and tighten it up. We do the same on the next one there. And there you go. That's that whole piece in like that. That's what it looks like from the other side. I can put this to one side and bring over the substructure deck that we worked on last time because we've got another bit of deck that we're going to add to it looking like this. Now this one, as you can see, we've got three holes here, three lugs underneath on this section are just going to go like that, turn it upside down. It's going to be held in with three screws here. No screws are BP screws. Just so you know, the screws that you acquire for each pack are actually provided. These are the black ones, not the silver ones. So put these in. So now that has just extended that deck line out, looking like that. And then once again, we've got a little sprue here with some details that we're going to need to put on. And the first detail we need is labeled number one. Number one is this big detail just at the top there. This is actually going to go just on this side here into the two holes that we can see at the top there. So one here one here i'm going to put it in this way hold it for a second and there we go that's in like that then we need detail two which looks kind of like the letter t that's going to go just underneath that section we just put in there so it's going to go into the two holes that we can see here and here and it should face get it in there that way round and then one more detail to put in that's detail three let's get this off the sprue and that's going to go on the other side here which is the starboard side just into the details there it's a little platform so you want to make sure you put it in exactly the right way it should mirror the platform that we've got on the other side there but with the details we've put in that side and that side, that's all there is to do in that stage. Now we've got some big pieces of deck in part 24, so we get these out. And we've also got some more details on a sprue, and we have got some screws. Now all the screws in this pack are exactly the same. So the first thing we're going to do is with these two details of deck that we've got here, they're actually going to go and be joined together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to join these two bits of deck together. We've got three holes there. We've got three lugs on that side. This is just going to go in just like that. Turn it over and put three of those black screws just into the holes there. So that's one. Number two over here. And finally number three just here and now we're going to draw our attention to the sprues here they are going to go on the side of this deck that we've just created so once again these are all numbered so the first one i want to cut off number one and that's just going to go into the notch that we can see just on this side here into there like that so i'll place this part in so you can see how that goes there we go then i need part three so I'll get that off the sprue. Now that one, quite hidden away, is actually just going to go behind the section we put in, just into that corner there. You can see a little hole for it to go into just there. 
So I'm putting plenty of glue on that. You want to make sure you put the detail the right way around and just slot that one in. Now we know where that one goes. If we turn it over, we've got one to go in the other side here. So we've got one to go in exactly the same place, but on the, is it the starboard side we're working on now? I get confused with this until I actually see it all together, but that's just going to go into that corner on the other side. I think it's the starboard side there. So we'll just slot that one in. Hold it for a second, and there we go. That's in just like that. Then we've got two more details left to put on. And the first one we need is labeled number five, which I will just cut off the sprue here. That one's just going into the notch that we can see on this side here, just like that. Put it in, it's gonna hold it in place just to make sure that's in tight. There we go, and that's that piece in like that. And then the last one we've got is piece that's labeled number two. That's just gonna go into the slot on this side here, just at the back there, put that in. Make sure that's fit perfectly in there. Holding it in place for a second. And there we go, that's the two details in that side. Now this is going to be fun because what we're actually doing is the deck that we completed before we're going to be marrying up to the section we've just made there. So this quite simply is just going to fit over the top just like that. Turn it upside down and once again we've got three screws which are the black screws here which are BP screws just to put in place there. So I'll get these in. That's number one. So it's looking like that from that side and that from that side and that's all there is to do in that stage now stage 25 looks just like that we've got another whole piece to put on and we've also got some life boys there to put on as well so uh, let's get these out bring over the Bismarck ship here and this time we're going to be working on this side here and just like last time we're going to be putting this piece into there like that and securing that down with the silver screws so here's the first one just going into there here's the second one and then once again we've got the adapter piece here which is going to go onto this section here it's going to pull everything together we'll put two screws through there now remember you are going to need your smaller screwdriver that was provided in the last pack for this so i'll put one just in there like that to hold it in and then just tighten that up as tight as you can get it there you go and when that's in that should look just like that we can put that to one side and bring over these life rings i don't know what they're called <laughs> but we'll get them snipped off we've got one and one just the other side here two we want to bring over the deck that we worked on in the last stage and the first life ring is just going to go onto this side which is the starboard side here just into the tiny two holes that we can see one here and one behind it here let's put plenty of glue in there and then we'll just push this on now this is definitely going to be a task for your tweezers i reckon so we'll get this on and there we go that's the first life ring in place exactly the same position on the other side there so just spin it round you'll see the two holes it's best to get one of the lugs in first the second one will follow it quite easily just like that and that's the second one in place as well and that is all there is to do in that stage so in stage 26 we've got the forward part of the superstructure and that looks just like this as you can see we've got lots of room for details to put on the side and that's exactly how we're going to start this stage so we've got some sprues in this one and the first things we're going to need are some rain hoods which is detail number one on this sprue so let's get this cut off and that's going to be located on the port side here just into this slot that we can see just here so put some glue in there and then we'll push this piece in just like that I've got to cut the next one off which is detail number six 
and that one's going to go very similar place just the next one down here so put some glue in there just like that now these pieces have started to get quite tiny so i am going to use my tweezers to get help me get this one in there we go and that's that in there then we need part seven of the sprue which is a storage locker and that's going to be fitted right at the end into this section here so i'm going to put plenty of glue around there and then this part's just going to fit in like that it's going to look just like that when it's in we now need a door which is detail number nine on the sprue and this one as you can probably tell it's just going into the vacant slot just here making sure we put the door around the right way so the hinges face towards the front of this superstructure deck as a matter of fact there is actually an indent for the hinges so you know what way this is going to go in then we've got detail four which is another door this one's going right at the front of this superstructure deck here again following the shape of the detail there then we've got a storage unit which is going to go above it which is uh, detail two on the sprue so that's going to go into these slots just here and below in there it can only really fit in one way this one but when i put it in it looks just like that detail five is another door and this time we're on the starboard side of the uh, deck here so i'll put some glue in there and put the door in just like that then we've got another door which is detail 10 that's just going to go here in the door shaped indent we've got like that and then just like the last time we've got detail 8 which is another storage locker and that's going to go right next to it into this place at the front here just put this in make sure it's in the right way so it looks like that it's going to mirror what we've got on the other side there as you can see the last one we've got is detail three which is another door and that's just going to go on this side here just like that and that's all of those sprue details in place and now we're going to be putting in the fire hoses the fire hoses look just like that now once again these are numbered so we need fire hose free or detail free on the sprue and we need to bring over the superstructure deck looking like this remember we put the uh, life boys in here this is just going to go into the hole that we can just see there so i'll get my uh glue just inside here and you want to put it I get one in I can show you that way around gonna do exactly the same to the other side but this time it's gonna be detailed number four on the sprue so once again drop some glue in there make sure it's straight just like that and then we've got two more fire hoses to put in they're exactly the same details one and two so we go to the starboard side first, just into this section that you can see here. Put some glue in there. And this is going to be going in. If I just drop this in and show you what way this is actually going to fit in. Just like that on that side. Which we, means we've got space for one more. Just in this section here. On the other side. Which goes in like that. So we've got four. Two on this side. And two on the other side there we can put that to one side because we now need to take the led light which is going to form the navigation lights now the most important thing i can stress to you do not under any circumstances try to test this light at this stage don't try and put it in a battery don't try and put it in a control box just leave it be just for the minute what we are going to do is just put a label on this so we know where this light's coming from and this label says b5 as you can see there at the whole build that's probably the most important advice i can give you do not test anything until it tells you to do so okay so that's on like that then all we need to do with the led is take the holder for this and just slide it in from the top there 
so it sits in just like that now we take the bridge deck again if i turn that upside down this is going to be going on the port side there so it's going to be fitting over the top of that lug just like that so it's nice and tight in place there and then that's going to be held in with a pb screw it's a two times five mil screw it's the only ones that come in this stage so i've got that here i'll just screw that down and there we go and that is all there is to do in that stage now stage 27 we've got a kill section and we've got another navigation light uh, in here so let's get this open we'll bring back the ship so basically the kill piece is going to be adding to this section just here but we do need to put an adapter in first so this is what the adapter looks like that's just going to go over the top like that it's going to be held in with some of the two times four mil silver screws so here's the first one nice and tight that one's in put the second one in just on the other side and then all we need to do is bring the kill section up underneath this section here just like that and then locate the last two screws so here's the first one and lastly here's the second one and now you can see how this uh, hole and kill section is going to expand throughout the build so once again we can put this to one side because once again we're going to be playing with one of the leds so i'm just going to get this out of here and you're going to get sick of me saying this as i put the uh label on this which says b6 do not be tempted to test these leds because you will blow them until the right time so we've got that led and just like last time we've got a little mount for this to go in so i'll line up the led and we just slide that into the top just like this so it's this way around just slide it into the top push it down so it's nice and flush in there like that then we're going to bring over the bridge deck again and this one as you could probably guess is going to go on the other side so i'll put this on just like that and then that's going to be secured down once again with one of the black screws so we've now got the port and starboard navigation lights in place this is the port side this is the starboard side and that's all there is to do in that stage now stage 28 we've got the whole piece and some accessories for the bridge so we'll get these open bringing the whole section over again and then removing the plastic from this this is going to be going on the port side just under here like that and once again it's going to be held in place with some silver screws now this time three screws so we've got one here one just at the far side over here and then the last one is just going to attach this to the plate next to it in here and there we go continues to grow but we could put this now to one side then we need to bring over the bridge deck again and we need the port intake air cover so it's going to be going on this side here this actually fits just in front of the vent you can see here so when this is in it's going to fit in just like that but we do need to apply some glue for that so i've got that here i'm just going to put some glue just in that channel there and the one just underneath make sure you put the right side on the right because it's going to mirror on the other side there so that's in like that we're going to do the same thing just on the other side there so once again put some glue just in that channel there and this section just there and then we can put the other side in just like that and then look at the top camera that's what it should look like now we've got some fiddly sections we need to cut some sprues off and the first sprue is for the navigation light and it's detail number three 
So I've taken that off here, and then we also need the red lens, which is on a sprue looking like this. Now be careful when you cut these, you don't want to lose them. Now when you cut them off, if you can see on my finger, you want to make sure the tail is still on it like that. And then taking the lens, we're just going to be pushing it in through the back side there, so it comes out looking like that from the front side. So this is going to go on here into the two holes that you can see just on the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue into these holes to keep everything ready to hold the detail. And then I'm going to bring the lens to this. It would really help wearing some magnifying glasses for this and then just push it into place. So when that's in, it should look just like that. We're going to repeat that exactly the same on the other side but with the different color lens so i'll be cutting off detail number four and cut the green lens off put some glue in the starboard side here where the navigation lights are going to go put the lens in the housing making sure it's in the right way, just like that. And then once again, putting that the right way around so that the, the, the section that you can see at the bottom there faces towards the front of the deck, just like this. And then push it all the way home. And there we go, that's the starboard light in as well. Now we've got some more details on this sprue to cut off and we're actually gonna be putting these in place. So the first one we want is detail eight, and that's gonna go on the port side, just at the top here, where I'm about to place some glue, just here. And you know you put it in the right way because the shape should match the indent. And that goes in just like that. We're gonna do the same on the other side, which goes just like that. So that's both sides in. Then we need detail five and six doing exactly the same thing we just did. Now when we put these parts in, we just want to make sure they're pointing away from the front of the deck there. So I'll get one in. that will give you an idea of how that looks. It should look just like that. You do the same to the other side. And then the last detail to put in is details number two. And these are going on the slot that we could just see on each side at the back here. So that's the starboard side one. It goes in like this, make sure it's completely straight, just like that. And do the same just on the other side here, into this slot just there. And there we go. If I show you on the top camera, you can see how both of those parts are in. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Lots of big parts in part 29, lots of deck pieces, so we get these out. So what we're gonna do is take the lower mast deck, looking like that, and we've actually got a deck to just go in the section here, and it's pretty easy to see how it goes. This is just gonna fit in just like that. Shouldn't need gluing, should be able to just push that in, and it will hold itself, no problems at all. Then we're gonna be taking the rest of the deck, which is gonna mirror what we've got there. That's gonna fit on perfectly like that. Turn it over. As you can see, we've got four lug holes here ready for some screws. And they are PB screws. We've got a whole packet of them. So we can't really confuse uh, what screws we're using. We're going to be putting four of these in place. So there's the first one. And the last one, just at the back there, there's the fourth. So now when that deck's in, it should look just like that. We can put that to one side because we're going to be working on the bridge lighting now. Now for the bridge lighting, we've got this bit of acrylic here, which is actually going to uh, conduct the light all the way through it. And we've actually got a lens as well. So I'll get this undone. And the way this works, we turn the lower mast deck just upside down like that. And we're going to be putting the lens just into the channel that we can see of these lights here. So this is going to go in like that. And then we're going to secure this in place by feeding it into this section just here. And you know you've got it right because the window should go all the way through around here. 
and it should be sitting perfectly flat in there we are going to hold that in and that's going to be one of the silver 2.4 mil screws and as soon as i screw this in that lens and light are not going to come out you don't need to screw it too much just enough to hold it in because you can see it holds itself in place there we do want to put a label on this so we know what light this actually is so i've got the label here this one is b7 so i put that on just like this i can put that to one side bring over another piece of deck down looking like that and this time we've got a deck to go and over the top of this into this section here we could just push that down once again doesn't need glue once again it's going to hold its own in there and then we've got a couple of details just to go in each end here they look like this and so they're actually going to go in just like that there on each side so we've got one for this side one for this side over here so i'll get some glue in there so i'll show you on the top camera that's how that should look so now we're just going to stack these together so we're going to take the bridge deck that we worked on before with the navigation lights then we're going to take the lower mast deck and that's just going to go on top like that and then on top of that we've got the bridge deck now what we want to do is make sure the wires here go through the channel at the bottom just like that and then this locates with the lugs just like that there now all three of these pieces if i turn it upside down are going to be put together just with screws in those four holes here once again they're the black two times five mil screws so here's the first one here's the second third one here And then the last one just on the other side there and that was quite an impressive build that was because if i just get these wires down check that out looks just like that all the way around and on the other side that's all there is to do in that stage Stage 30, we're working on a whole section. We're going to be building a rangefinder. This is going to be a complete mirror to what we did last time. Basically, to take the whole piece, put it underneath the deck to link with three lugs together there, just like that, line them up, and then three screws in here. So the first one, just in that side there. The second one, I think I'll link it to the plate next to it, over this side. And then we've got one more screw to put that in completely. And now that's done. I can put that over to one side again because we're going to build the range finders. Now, the range finders consist of these two shafts here, which need to be put together. So we're going to need to put some glue just into these holes on each side. I've got my glue prepared here. So just a dab on each one three and four and then I can cement these both together now if you wanted to use Tamiya cement just to take off the seams by all means do that uh, I'm just going to build it at the moment to show you what it looks like I'll probably do that in post-production now we're going to be putting the top on now as you can see we've got some notches just in the side here and inside the dome we have got some notches as well so to make sure we put this on the right way we just want to rotate it round until it slips in and won't turn but we will have to glue that in now it's the notches that are holding it so you only have to put some glue in each notch here one and two you don't need to smother it in there so when i put this on it just goes on like that so that should look like that and now we've got a little sprue which has got the uh, scopes on for the range finder so i'm going to get these off and we'll attach this and when we put them on the scopes are going to be pointing away in this direction from this point at the top here so i'm going to tap some glue just into this side here first and put the correct scope in for the side that i'm doing it at so that looks just like that 
and we do the same on the other side here and there we go that's the range finder complete now we can check that this is going to be aligned okay because it's actually going to go into these two sections of the superstructure deck here so when this one's in it's going to sort of fit in it's got a channel for it to fit in here you see it's going to fit in like that so it's perfectly straight but that's all there is to do in that stage Now stage 31, bit of a mirror what we've just done. We're going to be attaching a whole piece and then we're going to be doing another range finder. So once again, bring over the ship. And this time the whole piece is going to be going on the port side here, just into this section here. So it's going to fit in just like that. Once again, it's going to be held in with some of the silver 2 times 4 mil screws. So one here. nice and tight and then just one on the other side over here we also need to put just like last time a little adapter to link the two plates together so that's just going to go over the top here make sure you put it the right way around just like that and these are going to take two screws as well so put the first one in here so as you can see that's all in we can put this to one side and again in an exact mirror of what we did in the last stage we're going to be building another range finder so i've got my glue here we should be very much proficient at this now so we're going to dab some glue just into these holes here just like that put these together make sure they fit nice and flush like that and then once again we'll put some glue just into the notches here and here and make sure we line them up with the notches inside here now i just want to make sure that is in the right way so i'm going to just check it where it's going to sit on the uh, deck here if it is in the wrong way don't be afraid to quickly break that glue and put it in because you do want them to be facing the same way as we just saw from the last one we did so let me just get this in like that and again i'm going to line that up to make sure it's going to be facing exactly the same so it should mirror the one that we just made over here which i'll just get in as well and they should face in the same direction with the aerial part pointing towards the back as you can see there so i just need to put the scopes on this one once again the scopes are on a sprue so i'll get these off put some glue just into the channels here and once again make sure we have the scopes pointing in the right direction which is away from this section here just like that and that's another range finder complete and we know these are going to fit okay so all we've got to do now is just put some glue in these channels here so we can bed this in and they won't be going anywhere so here's the first one in like that do the same do the same on the other side some glue around the side and then some in the channel there make sure it mirrors the one we've just done like that and as you can see it's the two range finders in and that's all there is to do in that stage Now the last stage of this, we're going to be dealing with some photo etch parts. It's the first time we would have done that. So we'll get these open and I'll show you how to deal with them. The first thing we're going to do is put a whole piece in. Now as mentioned before, we should be a dab hand at this. We're going to bring this over again. This time it's going to go in this piece here. So once again, put that in there, just like that, so it fits nice and snug. We're going to screw it in with the 2 times 4 mil silver screws one in there we really do need another part of the stand now because it's getting too heavy at the back as you see it's like a seesaw we have got one of them on the way so that will be coming in one of the future actually comes in pack four i believe here's the second one and then once again we've got the adapter which looks like that just going to go on this side here making sure once again we've got it in the right way then we screw these two together as well your screwdriver doesn't fit in here 
then remember you've got the blue screwdriver that you had from a couple of stages ago that's the first one and there's the second one and that is the whole section completed for this pack I'm just going to take it off so you can see that in all its glory there and underneath so I'll put this to one side now we've got some details that we want to put onto the deck that we made in the last stage so the first one we've got these life rafts that look just like this and the first one is going to go just into the channel that we can see on the port side just there so put some glue just in and around there and when we put them in we want the flat part to be facing down so I'll push this home and that should look just like that and we're going to mirror that by doing exactly the same thing on the other side so again just some glue and surround it there take the life raft and push that into the slot and there we go that's that one in as well now we've got a real big detail that's on its own here that's actually just going to go at the back of this deck here just into that section there so once again a little bit of glue just into the two holes here one and below it two and push that in hold it for a second and that should look just like that and then we're going to be working on the small details that we've got on the sprue here now on this sprue we need two hatches now the hatches are labeled number one on this sprue so we'll get them both off now these are going to go into the recessed channels that we can just see on the top of the deck here and the other side here. So I put glue in the place there. Let's get these in. That's the first one. Put the second one in here. And that's the second one. They fit in the recess but they should look like that when they're in. Now we need the two details. They're very tricky details these ones. One looks like a triangle with three circles in it and one looks exactly the same but you haven't got the triangle on top you've just got a square it's probably best to look at the pictures of how this looks but they're just going to go into the two ports that you can see here and here on the front now the one with the three circles in is going to go to the left so i'm going to drop some glue in there get my tweezers to help me on this one and when we put it in we want to make sure the three circles face towards the rear of this deck just over here so i'll put that in and there we go that's the first detail and i'm just going to make sure that that's actually upright just like that and we do exactly the same with a second detail that's going next to it here and once again using my tweezers to help me It's going to go in there and I just want to make sure that's perfectly straight and when you're happy with that they should look just like that and I'm going to cut the last two details off these are just uh, some vents and these are just going to go onto this side of the wall you can see some little indents and recesses for them one this side and one this side over here Again, probably best to have your uh, tweezers helping you on this. Put the second one in and I'll show you what this looks like. Now that's all the sprues that are part of this pack, pack three, but now we've got some photo etch parts. Now this is what the photo etch parts look like. And what I'm going to do is take these all off the part. Now the easiest way to get them off, especially when you've got sections which are raised as you can see on this one here is just to get some pliers and just rock backwards and forwards at the joint section like this and once you've got one side off as you can see it's easy to get the other side off so i'll break all of these off now they're all off the sprue so we can just put that to one side and we want to identify the navigation lights we put on because the first detail we're going to be putting on is just going to be either side of these navigation lights. I'm going to drop some glue just into the bottom channel here. One. And two on this side. I have got my magnifying glasses on to help me here. 
and we're going to get these in the channel here so this is the first piece we're going to be putting in this is going to go in hooks in one side and sits in the other just like that we're going to do the same on the other side here on the top making sure they are uniform they do fit into the channels so once again in one side in the other there making sure they're secure and they look absolutely perfect now just need to mirror that on the other side and there's the other side so we've got this side here and this side there done we have a ladder which is going to go on the front section here this ladder has got a hook over section at the end so you know what ladder it is get some uh, glue just into these four holes one two three four and we can put the ladder in just like that so the ladders in lovely there we've got some shorter ladders just to put in on the starboard side of the deck just at the back here so once again drop some glue in there one two three and four so there shouldn't be any problem trying to identify them but if the tabs don't fit on one side then just use the other ladder and that way you know you've got the right one so there you go that one goes in like that and then right next to it we've got another shorter ladder here one two three four these photo etch parts i'm telling you they uh they may be fiddly but boy do they add the detail and there's the second ladder in then we've got a platform just to put in around that second ladder and as you can see we've got three little dots there that i need to drop some glue in one two and three four it's actually four little dots just put the platform in probably best if i put the platform in first and then show you what it looks like there we go just like that now we have got two more parts to put in we've got this one here and this one here but we do need to keep these safe because they're not actually installed in this stage so i'm going to keep them in a box but with this deck which looks absolutely superb the big deck that we worked on before and obviously the work that we've done creating this whole section here looking just like that that's all there is to do in this pack and there you go that's pack free complete and uh, i think uh, it, all in all it took about four hours for me to do so i can't believe i managed to get that down to 55 minutes but uh, i really enjoyed building it if you want to build it for yourself i've put the link here for the agora models website once again you can go over to there and get this all the way from pack one but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care